Hi guys, it's Rob Trube with Superior Business Solutions and today we're going to do a real quick tutorial on how to create a QR code from Google Maps. Now one of the challenges is they can get real complex and then they're harder to read by the smartphones. So the simpler the QR code, the better. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to create one to get to Celebration Cinemas, which is a, uh, a location here in Grand Rapids, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, we're going to go to Google, we're going to select Maps, and I just simply type in the address. So the address for them is 2121. Look at that, I already put it in there. So right there, it pulls it up. Okay. Now you can see that's where I want to go. Now I want to create a link. So this area right here is where it's going to take me to get a link. When I click that, it pulls this information up right here. Now this link is very long and I'm going to show everybody how long that link is just so you can have an idea of what it is that I'm talking about. So I'm going to open up a notepad and show everybody what that looks like. Watch this. That is a really, really long link. Now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to even post that link in there because it, the, the QR code is just too complex and it hurts my eyes. So what I want to do is I actually want to create a short URL. So right here where it says short URL I click that. Look at how much smaller that link is. See how there's less characters? I just copy that link. Then you have to simply go to Superior Business Solutions website, which is inkonit, I N K O N I T dot com. Go over to Other Services and select QR Code Generator. When I select QR Code Generator, it's going to take me to our page. You come into this area right here. You click this button, and you want to create and you want to send the QR code to a website. I simply go to website, I paste the URL that I want to go to, and again, I'm putting in a, a shortened URL. You don't have to use Google's URL shortener. You can use Bitly or a bunch of the other ones. Um, that's just one that, that is within Maps. Now, typically when I create a QR code, I want it to be as big as possible to create the graphic file. So when it creates this QR code, it's actually going to create as a PNG file, which is a, a graphics image like a JPEG or a, or a GIF or something like that. Now, you can leave these selected and you can it'll email you a copy of the QR code and we also um, it'll sign you up for our list if you want to get more information from us as well so I because I'm already on the list I don't want to do that so I'm gonna type in my email address and it's gonna send me the graphics file for the QR code to that email address all I then have to do is click generate my QR code and there you go so this is a QR code that when I scan it with my smartphone, my iPhone, or my Droid, or my Blackberry, um, it's going to uh, take me to that URL. I can right click and I can actually do save picture as. When I do that, it comes up and then I can choose what I want to save it as is that. So I'm going to do um, celebration QR. Okay, so I'm just going to save that file and it's in my pictures file and we're all good to go. So I've saved it now. If I want to save that file, I can actually put it in an email. Um, it's a, it's a, a 10 UR, uh, pixel size, or the number 10, so it's 300 pixels by 300 pixels, which will work just fine for most of the uh, printing applications you can do, business cards, brochures, and stuff like that. That's pretty good. Usually, uh, you want to have the QR code, the minimum size is about three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch on anything you want to print. So if you're putting on a business card or a flyer, don't make it smaller than that. The phones really struggle to, uh, to read it, anything smaller than that. Okay, so that's your QR code. Um, you can take that. What I recommend that you do is then take this URL and put the URL underneath the QR code. So if you do it that way, then um, people can get to it. You can also put a, a little tagline, some text above it that says scan for directions or scan for a map. So people know exactly what they're supposed to do and where the QR code takes them. The more information you give people about the QR code and what they can expect for on it, the higher the, the scan rate will be. So that's how you can create a QR code using uh, Google Maps and the QR code generator on Superior Business Solutions website at inkonit.com. Again, I'm Rob Trube with Superior Business Solutions. Thanks for taking time to watch this fun and exciting tutorial. Have a great one.